under a pale blue sky. We're going to Munich. We just got into our hostel in Munich. It's great. We'll make your beds. Uh, the Augustina Keller Beer Hall. They're curling! This place is called Marine Platz, Mary ah. Square, right? Now, when this starts, you're going to see the court dancers and the court musicians coming and dancing and playing the trumpets in front of the Duke and his bride. And then behind them, the main attraction. Two guys on horses, and they are, of course, are jousters. Okay. And this jousting tournament happens here at Marie Plus. Now, uh, these guys are not very good. The first time they come around, they completely miss each other. All right. On the second go, though, there's contact. One guy knocks the other guy off the horse. Uh, if you're a betting man, I would put some money on the Bavarian. He has apparently never lost. Now, the Prague they say it was built by the devil himself. 1468, uh, the devil came here flying over Munich as he often did back in those days apparently. He thinks of course they have enough churches, they don't need another one, he's going to come and break and destroy this church down. They say he flew into the entrance of the church and as he got into the entrance he stopped. And he thinks to himself, if they put no more windows or no windows in the church and they put the roof up, it's going to be nice and dark inside this church and I think I'm going to come and live here. He calls the architect over, I've got a deal for you. Uh, if I give you all the money you need to build this church in record time, don't build any, any more windows in this church. Shook the devil's hand, everyone was happy, the devil flies out of here. 20 years later, 1488, uh, the devil comes back, the church is now finished, he flies into the entrance thinking he's going to see a nice pitch black dark church. He stops again there at the entrance, and you see lots of light streaming in from the sides here. Not a happy devil he is, but what have you done, gone and done here? You've broken the deal. Mr. Devil, uh, tell me from where you are standing, can you see any windows? And then it dawned on him, from where he's standing, same spot he stood 20 years ago, he still can't see any windows. Now if you stand in the entrance of the church, you'll see the pillars in the middle obscures the windows on the sides. So the windows were in fact already in the church uh, the first time the devil came around. The devil of course very upset. Firstly, uh, he stomped his foot very hard into the ground, left a footprint. Secondly, he flew out in such a high speed they say, he left his wind behind. Uh, and the people of Munich call this breeze around the Karakofa the devil's wind. Headed for the open door. We had our first full day in Munich. We went on a tour of the city, now we're at the English Gardens. It's beautiful, the sun's out. There's surfing, but it's negative degrees now. The original protest. Yeah, protest. 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 Then everyone. There's a larger protest, which is upset with the original protest. So they're showing up to the other people's protest and protesting. So the police are there, so they don't get in a fight. We chose quite an interesting weekend to come to Munich. There were several protests going on the Saturday afternoon that we were there, and I just want it to be clearly stated that. No IES students took part in any part of the protest. We were merely observers. We rounded out our weekend in Munich with a trip to the famous and historic Hofbräuhaus, House, where we sat, ate, and talked for hours. It's a must-go place, especially if you're traveling with an awesome group of friends like we were. Overall, Munich is a beautiful city, rich in history and Bavarian culture. It's probably my favorite city in Germany thus far, and I highly recommend anyone make the trip there if they should find themselves in the area. But now, it's time to switch gears and check out my second weekend trip to Florence, Italy. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's amore. We got to the airport in Zurich. It was a two hour train ride from Freiburg. This was after class on Friday. Um, we were supposed to leave at 6 p.m. out of Zurich to get to Florence, and they tell us that no, that plane was actually imaginary. But there are about six of us who were supposed to be on this flight to Florence, very confused, very disgruntled. Um, after a lot of talking in circles, um, we eventually 
figure out that 24 hours in Florence is better than no hours. So Mia and I book our mini vacation to Florence. Hey Mia, where are we going? Florence. When are we getting there? Tomorrow afternoon. And when were we supposed to get there? I don't know. We are on the plane, finally. We think we are going to Florence. I hope so. It's amore. Less than 24 hours, our hotel was also canceled, but that's not gonna stop us. We are going to go do everything on our list. We're gonna do it in style. The sun shining. Let's go. When you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, that's amore. Eh? 